Well, we're always happy to get the win. Um, wasn't pretty, but I think we learned a little bit more about ourselves, which we're doing every single day. We're getting all these guys more game experience, and we're you know just trying to make sure we're getting better. I thought uh, after being down early, Lafayette did a great job of picking up their intensity, and I like that um, our kids responded down the stretch to that and found a way to, to, to win a tough game. Well, I feel like every game brings a new situation for us to learn from, and every situation we have to think about and be prepared to handle. So I think that each game is preparing us for what we are going to experience in the conference game. So we just use that to our advantage. We, we did want to try to challenge them to score because, uh, you know, they had 19 points off of turnovers, so they weren't really successfully scoring in the half court very often. Um, but we also had three fouls to give, so we figured we'd, you know, take a chance and maybe see what they were trying to get um, when they inbounded the ball. So Deanna fouled and uh, they inbounded it again, and I think maybe – their, their guard thought she was going to foul again, and she picked her dribble up. So just kind of a heads-up play by Deanna to not foul that second time. And then unfortunately for her, and I know it will haunt her for a couple of days, she called a timeout when they didn't have any. Um, so we were a, kind of a lucky break for us, and uh, Deanna was able to step up after missing two free throws and make the next two, which were big. And I thought the team was great. They rallied around her. I mean, Kate, I remember specifically Caitlin saying, we got you here, don't worry about it. Um, so it's just, you know, a good moment for her to know that her teammates have her back, even though she has to do a lot for us. We know she's not perfect. Uh, and then they did, just did a great job defending, rebounding, um, and just finishing the game out. Obviously, I thought we started the great game out great and very focused defensively, and that led to a lot of easy buckets for us. And then as we started to turn the ball over, they, they had the energy to come back into the game. Their pressure was really intense, and we just um, kind of freaked out a little bit. And so they got some steals, which put them up. But I think that we did a good job of handling it and just taking our time and not letting that get the best of us. We just need to keep our composure. We need to be able to find a way to be a little bit more on the same page with each other on the court, but also in sync with me and what my needs are um, on the sideline. And that's something that we're going to have to just keep working on. But we, we have a lot of big tests ahead of us. Schedule doesn't get any easier. If, if anything, it gets a lot harder as we get into December. So um, I want these guys to have some confidence, but I also want them to have some, to be hungry to get a lot better. I'm pleasantly surprised by how coachable they've been and how much they've kind of just figured it out on their own. You know, we, we didn't really have a huge game plan for how we were going to do things offensively, and you can see that at times. And I think individually they've figured out how to make plays. Alyssa had that great fake handoff drive today that was huge for us. Uh, I thought Lindsay made some huge baskets down the stretch. There's been games where Latrice has been big for us and Caitlin has made big shots. So it's nice to see that their confidence is where it needs to be, even though they don't te you know, technically have a ton of game experience. Uh, and they're doing it together. You know, They really are a unit out there. So they might not always be on the same page, but I do feel like they have each other's back. And that's a fun group to coach.